move on. Body movements and joints. In this module, we will learn about body movements and joints. You do different exercises in school, right? And for doing these exercises, you do different types of movements. For example, moving your arms and legs forward, bending, shoulder rotation, and many more. You can do this movement easily because your body is flexible. Such flexibility is in, or in our body is due to the presence of joints. Do you know what a joint is? Well, a joint is actually a place where two bones are joined together. Press your hand against your knee, your shoulder, or your fingers. You can feel your joints. Not all joints allow movements. And on the basis whether the joint helps in the movement or not, these joints can be categorized into two types, immovable and movable joints. Immovable joints are the joints that allow no movement of the body parts. These are also called the fixed joints. Such joints are found in the skull. Except the joints present in the skull, all other joints found in the body are movable joints. And movable joints help in the movement of the body parts. Movable joints are further of four different types. They are the hinge joints, the ball and socket joint, the pivot joint, and the gliding joint. Let us learn about this joint one by one. Let us first learn about the hinge joint. A hinge joint is very similar to a door hinge. You can see that the door hinge allows the opening and closing of the door in two directions. Similarly, a hinge joint in the body also allows the movement in two directions, and that is forward and backward, or upward and downward. And the elbow and knee joints are the two examples of the hinge joint. Let us now learn about the ball and socket joints. In the ball and socket joint, the end of one bone acts like a ball, and this bone fits into another bone which acts like a socket. Hence, the joint is called the ball and socket. This arrangement allows easy movement of the body parts in all directions, like the hip joint, the shoulder joint, are two examples of the ball and socket joint. The next type of joint is the pivot joint. In this type of joint, one of the bone acts like a cylinder and it fits into the end of another bone which is like a ring. Hence, the first bone rotates inside the ring and allows easy movement of the body in different directions. An example of a pivot joint is the neck joint. The pivot joint allows the movement of the neck sideways, upward, and downward. It even allows the rotation of the neck. And the last type of joint is the gliding joint. This type of joint allows the bones to glide over each other and hence allows slight movement of the body parts. In this type of joints, the joint bones are flat and so they slide back and forth and side to side. The ankle joint and the waist joint are some examples of the gliding joint. There is a special tissue that holds the two bones of a joint in position. This is called the ligament. There is another soft tissue that covers a joint from outside and this is called the cartilage. The bones are not visible from the outside so in case of an injury, Doctors use x-ray to check any damage of our bones. X-ray are the special rays that help to create the image of bones using radiations. And let's do the recap. A joint is a place where two bones are joined together. Joints can be categorized as movable and immovable joints. The immovable joints are the fixed joints are the joints that allow no movement of the body parts. The movable joints are the joints that help in the movement of the body parts. The hinge joint, the ball and socket joint, the pivot joint, and the gliding joint. And that is 
the lesson for my grade 4 students of Minsari Intercultural School, Grand Surya. This is Mr. D.L. and D.W.E. now signing off. Bye-bye!